Hey guys, welcome back to Code Escape. Last video we went over installing Terraform and in this one we're going to go ahead and connect Terraform to Azure and uh, first we'll actually create an Azure account and I'll walk you through that and once we create the account we'll go ahead and um, connect our machine to Azure, our Azure account so that we can run Terraform against it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to Azure's portal and we're gonna create a new account. And I made this email earlier. Um, you can use whichever email you want to create your Azure account. Once you type in the information here, create your password, It'll walk you through a couple of more screens. And yep. We just put January first, some random random year to just a test account. And go next. And then make sure you grab your uh, verification number from the email they'll send you an email and yeah I just go through this and once we do that we can start logging in yep go ahead and log in using that same ID and password and So we'll, we'll just click stay signed in. Once you are logged in, this is what you'll see. This is the portal. And as you use apps and you know resources here, you'll start to notice the services uh, icons. The most frequently used are at, top, at the top. And when you first start, you won't have a subscription. So head over to subscriptions and you wanna create a subscription. And when you do that, it's actually going to make you sign up and enter in, you know, your inf personal information. And once you put in your personal information, it's going to ask you for a credit card so that it can keep on file. And if you're signing up for the first time, you do get a $200 credit that you can use towards, you know, um, training or, you know, practicing whatever you want to in Azure. So let's go ahead and head back to the main portal and we'll go to virtual machines so this is the process of creating resources in azure manually if you are not running terraform so here we can create a new azure virtual machine just click that and this is the process of you know picking your subscription and you know what resource group you want uh, so right here, for example, you have uh, a field for resource group. Right now we don't have any, so we would basically create one. So if we hit the create button here, um, we can type in whatever you know name we want. So for example, if you have multiple um, uh, resources for allocated to dev, QA, and prod, you can separate them by resource groups. So a dev resource group and a QA resource group and a prod resource group. So for example here, I can just type in uh, code escape VM dash dev uh, and we can create that. And anything we create or regarding or that's used in that dev environment can be placed in that for that application or um, product. So uh, as you go down, you'll see, you know, you have your choices of um, region, you know, um, availability zones, which uh, image you want, whether it's Ubuntu, Windows, and so forth. And uh, once you go through all this and you hit review and create, it'll create your VM for you in that resource group. So, but we want to do this from Terraform. We don't want to have to manually create this. Um, so imagine having a, a dev environment, QA and prod, and each environment has multiple resources um, that you know has 
um, that what makes your app work. So creating them manually each time is, is kind of time consuming. So we want a Terraform plan or a Terraform um, that will do that for us. And uh, we won't, we will only have to code it once and we can pass in variables for the various environments. So here we're gonna go ahead and install the Azure CLIs. We don't have it right now. I just did a test to see um, which came back with an error. So we're going to go ahead and search for AZ CLI and go to, um, it's the first link actually. And once we head over to the first link, we're going to go ahead and download it for Windows. So the command line interface is what's going to allow us to connect our, our terminal to the our Azure instance. So let's see. I already have it here. Uh, I did it earlier. So once you download it, make sure you download the 64-bit and then uh, install it. It takes a couple of minutes. I cut that part out here. So just hit finish. And once you do that, go ahead and type in AZ in your terminal again, see if it comes up. You should get yep, the module information there. So you can go through uh, some of the documentation on what you can do with this. You can do a lot. Uh, but for now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to log into our uh, cloud instance. So type in AZ login and hit enter. Once you do that, um, a web page will pull up asking you to sign in. Since we're already signed in, we can just select ours. And it's going to give you a message saying successfully logged in to Azure. And once you go back to your terminal, you'll see uh, your information there. Uh, for example, Azure subscription one, which is what our subscription is called. And um, let's say if you have, you know, multiple subscriptions, um, you can actually set the right subscription here. Right now, I just did an easy account show to just show which subscription we're on. And it's obviously going to show the same one. And uh, but let's say you wanted to set a different one that you had, um, you could do AZ account set. And um, basically, you want to give it the subscription uh, ID number, or you could do it by name. And um, that will set that subscription to your, you know, local um, connection, so that you can control whatever resources are under that subscription. So let's see. What we'll do now is so let's get into a little bit of the Terraform here. And what we're going to do is open the folder here or open a folder. So once we get into our documents here, we don't have a project folder created yet. So we'll create one. And we can just call it something similar code escape dash vm dash dev. So this is where all our Terraform files will be held for this Terraform. So right now there's nothing in there um, because we haven't created anything. So let's go ahead and create the files we need. So go ahead and hit new file and we'll create the main file first. So it's main.tf. This is where all your code will be written. And then what we'll do is we'll create a variables.tf. This is where all your variables will be defined. And let's say you have multiple environments. So you would uh, control what you pass in those variables from the tf vars file. So we'll create a dev.tf vars. And we can also create the other ones as well, which we won't use, but just for example's sake, qa.tfrs and prod.tfrs. And you can define uh, the values for each uh, of the variables from these and separate the environments. So what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and set up uh, a Terraform uh, to create a VM in Azure. And um, so I'll create a, a third video for that. I'm trying to keep these short as possible. So it's easier to digest. 
and uh, hopefully uh, you're enjoying uh, learning Terraform and a little bit about Azure as well if you uh, are not familiar with Azure as well. So I'll see you in the next one.